The Plated Ones, who we've heard from before, I think, uh, asked, what do you think about other uses for a fly plate? For example, as a wrap or scarf. Because why would you want to wear that thing? <laughs> Fair. So what do you think about other uses for a fly plate? Um, the fly plate, for those who don't know, is the big square fabric that goes over the left shoulder. Um, Typically, it's only worn for very, very formal events. You do not have to wear it to be formal, but a formal event would be where you would wear it. Um, <clears throat> what do we think about them? Um, not There's not a lot of customers who get fly plates, like maybe 10% of the people who get a, a wool kilt will get a fly plate because you want to get it the same time as your kilt, so it matches the fabric in your kilt, right. but you don't need to have it. That said, once you have it, what do you do with this if you don't do that much formal stuff? Um, I would say, typically speaking, you know, it's it, it's it's a it's not a great functioning piece of kit. You know, it's great for pictures. It looks nice. It looks pretty. That's why guys get it. But it does kind of drag at the shoulder of the jacket a little bit as you're mm -hmm. wearing it. So what I would what I try to do is, you know, okay, let's think of other uses for it. Now, if you have a ceremony and your wife doesn't have a, tar your, you know, your bride doesn't have a tartan because, you know, you wear it for formal. So if you're wearing it at your wedding and your bride doesn't have a tartan, the groom can, you know, we've suggested on occasion, the groom could take off the fly plate with the brooch off and then, you know, wrap it around her like a shawl as in, you know, I'm accepting you into our family kind of thing. Um, you can just make it as a shawl for her after the wedding as well. So that's one good thing you can do. Um, two ways, either by just folding it over into, you know, into, you know, caddy corner so that the, the one corner that the, has the box plate in it on the fly plate is kind of tucked to the back. So she can just wrap around her as a shawl. And um, that's if you don't want to, you know, mess with the box plate and the one line of stitching that's in it. Um, if you want to make it a more permanent change, cause you're never going to wear the thing after the wedding, then I would say rip out that stitching and iron that flat. And you have, a you know, you know, you have a, a shawl right there. Um, mm -hmm. What are your thoughts on other things to do with a fly plate? Burial shroud. Burial shroud. Okay. No. Um, yeah, I'd, I'd say if you could, if you are willing and comfortable with picking the stitching out of the box plate, like like Rocky said, then yeah, you could turn it into a shawl as is, <clears throat> um, folding it like you said, like into a triangle. Um, and then uh, you could actually, if if you have somebody who's handy with a needle, they could possibly cut a slit in the middle and turn it into a poncho. Yep. Yep. Just yep. kind of like a kind of like a Rwanda or whatever, which is you know pretty popular for the gals these days. Um, I know people who have used it as a throw. I know people who have used it as a wall hanging, like you put it up on the wall and then you put pictures on it, like you know crossed weapons, clan design stuff, or family pictures. Going to use it as a art piece in your home. Um, you could kind of keep it just as is and take it along as a a small day plate like to festivals and stuff i mean because basically day plate is a picnic blanket that you wear you know and and it was uh very popular back in the day not as popular now but it's starting to come back we occasionally get requests for them uh doesn't have to be in the same tartan as your kilt but these days people want it to be so you could kind of use it take it around wear it you know with a with a tweed set for a day at a festival and then actually use it for what it was intended for but uh, it's not. It'd be a very yeah. small. It'd be extremely small. Yeah, because it's only about forty-six to fifty inches ish yeah. square. Yeah. Uh, Ian, how long is how wide is a day plate? Do you remember? Is it two two yards essentially? <sighs> two yards um, by sixty is typically what we made them. I don't recall. Okay, it's right. be big enough for you and one other person, ideally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the other yeah. thing you could do would potentially be um, just as a big square of cloth would be if you have a like a circular kitchen table you could use it as a, a tablecloth on the table yeah um yeah. if if you've used it for your wedding and you don't want to use it anymore another thing that you could do is <clears throat> one thing that we did uh, my wife and i did we did it differently we didn't use it with the fabric but it would be cool to use with fabric is make a shadow box display of your wedding mm -hmm. stuff for your home mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. take think of it this way if you took the the day or the day blade. Now you got me saying, if you took the fly Sorry. blade fabric and you know wrapped it around the back of the of the the the, the flat part in the back of a box, uh, a shadow box, um, you could put like 
her flowers on there, or of course, or corsage on there or whatever. You could put, you know, the invitation to the wedding, maybe the menu, um, if you wrote your own vows or something like that. Any of the mementos of the day, put in there and pin it to that as like the backboard for a shadow box. Yeah. Um, that could be something pretty neat too. Yeah. Yeah. So there you go. There's a few different ideas for you to do with your fly plate if you don't want to use it anymore. Yeah. It's mostly home goods. Yeah. Basically once you're done with it yeah. for what it was intended for. Or, you know, or cut it up, <coughs> make it a pillow, like make it into other things. If you're not going to use it anymore, don't let it go to waste. You know, do something else with it. You may be able to make a, a baby kilt out of it once your ch kids are born. Um, so, mm -hmm. you know, don't just let it kind of languish in the back of the closet to never be used again. Do something else with it. Cool. Right. Hope that helps. Are you crafty? If so, tell us in the comments what you would make out of a 45 or 50 inch square piece of cloth. If you're not crafty, look down below. You'll find things to make out of your fly plate. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. Remember, subscribe to the channel. See you next time, guys.